uh, usually I don't give you know a lose hope or a generalized statement but the next 10 minutes of this class will be the most relevant 10 minutes for mains 2018 as well as 2019 you just have to do is you just have to understand how to use these next 10 minutes in the exam okay so kuch note down mat karna sirf samjho uh, UPSC started asking two types of question first one 10 marker and then 15 marker usually in the 15 marker there are three sections three subsections of the question one of the subsection usually is the challenges okay so GS paper 1, 2, 3, some part of ethics, some part of optional and in majority you can expect some uh, 15 challenges, 15 questions which are related to the challenges in means as well as in each and every question you have to mention way forward. So this slide is particularly re relevant from the challenges perspective as well as from the way forward perspective, okay, government policies baad mein dekhenge. So, uh, whatever if the question is related to the challenges or you have to write the way forward, we just have to cram these 20 pointers. These 20 pointers are pits, usually challenges, if we have more challenges, there will be pits. So, this 5P we have, then 7I we have and 3Ts and 5S. Totally, we have 20 dimensions. Okay? And we can use these 20 dimensions in any questions. We will discuss how to use these dimensions in education, health, internal security, infrastructure, banking, agriculture. We will give you a lot of dimensions. So, first P basically is related to the policy scheme. So, first let us take the example of agriculture. Then we will take the example of education. Then we will take the example of health. Then we will take the example of infrastructure. Then we will take the example of banking. Then we will take the example of internal security. Whatever the question is related to, we can use the same diagram or the same dimensions. So, the first dimension, for example, in case of the agriculture is policy, schemes, law, governance. So, as we discussed in the agriculture that uh, the government policies are restrictive in nature. So, we have APMC, we have essential commodities, Act, we have the MSP driven model that we have. So, all these are the policies which are challenges to the agriculture sector. All this thing is related to first we are discussing challenges. <coughs> then the productivity, the second dimension, second P is the productivity or we can say the quality. So the productivity or the yield of the Indian agriculture sector is less or we can say the quality of items that we are producing whether in the horticulture sector or in the dairy sector it is less and it is being rejected by some international export or trade. Okay. The third challenge we have is the production or we can say the backward forward linkages. So, this production is a major problem under which backward may linkages may problem as well as the forward linkages may problem. We discuss about that the uh, production and the post production. Two types may agriculture could divide together. So, in the production seeds may problem, hai, irrigation may problem, hai, pesticide may problem, hai. in the post production marketing may problem, hai, export may problem, hai, MSP may problem, etc. Then we have the next one is related to the post harvest mechanism. So, this is food processing, nahi ho hai, export, nahi ho hai, labs nahi hai and all. So, this is the post harvest challenge that we have. Okay? Next, the fifth one we have is, uh, we discuss about which type of agriculture we need, VPC, Vice President's Pitch, we need viable, we need profitable. So, next P we have is the profitability. So, the profitability of the agriculture is must because otherwise it will not be attractive to attract the youth of the nation we have. So, this is the 5P, the 5 challenges that we have. Then the next is what we discussed, 5I five, five is discussed kiya tha pe. 5I five, five is in the agriculture sector. So, the first one is related to the innovation and also related to R&D. So, innovation is a major problem, new quality of seeds is a major problem and all. Next we have is the infrastructure. So, infrastructure bottlenecks is there, uh, the capital formation in agriculture is not happening and all. Then the third dimension is related to the intermediaries specifically for the unorganized sector. So, the bargaining power of the farmer is not much, illiterate farmer that is why illiterate, I say illiterate bhi ho sakta. That is creating a problem of the intermediary specifically in the APMC sector which is creating a, which is decreasing the value realization of agriculture sector. Next we have is the incentivize. So, incentive is less, abhi nahi likhenge Shriman. Next we have is incentivize or incentivization under which you need to focus upon the export and then you have to focus upon the brand value. So, the quality ethnic foods ko increase karna hai. then we have ethnic foods ko increase karenge plus 
ट्राइबल फूड्स को इंक्रीज करेंगे देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज द इन्वेस्टमेंट सो यू नीड टू इंक्रीज द इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर वी हैव देन वी हैव द इंस्टीट्यूशनल फाइनेंस इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम सो वी डिस्कस मनी लेंडर से फिफ्टी परसेंट बॉरो करना पड़ता है यूनिट टू इंक्रीज द इंस्टीट्यूशनल फाइनेंस अदरवाइज द गवर्मेंट पॉलिसीज लाइक लोन वी वर एंड ऑल विल नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल नेक्स्ट सेवंथ वन वी हैव इज द इनपुट्स सो नाउ द एग्रीकल्चर इज इनपुट हाईली इनपुट इंटेंसिव सो हाईली इनपुट इंटेंसिव मेक्स इट इनपुट कॉस्ट इंक्रीजेज एंड आउटपुट कॉस्ट डिक्रीजेज सो लेस रिम्यूनरेटिव इट इज मेकिंग सो दीज आर द सेवन आई चैलेंजेस ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर देन नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज द थ्री टी सो द फर्स्ट वन इज द टेक्नोलॉजी सो टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वन ऑल द फार्मर्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन द सब्सिस्टेंस फार्मिंग सो दे हेजिटेट टू अडॉप्ट न्यू न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी सेकेंड वी हैव इज द ट्रेनिंग मकानिजम सो ट्रेनिंग इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम इलेटरेट फार्मर्स आर देयर ऑल द एग्रीकल्चरल यूनिवर्सिटी स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी सेंट्रल एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज आर ट्राइंग बट ट्रेनिंग इज being provided by the extension services which are being given by icr so not very successful already plating has been then we have related to the taxation so whether agriculture should be taxed or agriculture should not be taxed is a question because we have some misuse of the agricultural income basically by the food processing industries we have then we have five s so the first s is related to skill skill of whom first skill is of the labor or the manpower or the cultivator is a problem the second skill is related to the regulator so for example we have model contract act which came so this contract bill mein ek regulator chahiye a new regulating body will be set up ye regulator ka skill har jagah problem hai because everywhere you need to roll back the state of the roll back the role of the government and you need to come up with the regulator so regulator ka skill is a major problem the whole problem of 2g spectrum kis liye aaya tha because regulator ka skill nahi tha itna they fail to actually <laughs> estimate the revenue loss or the negatives of the first come first serve so the second problem is related to the scale and the size so fragmented land holding is there in india which causes the mechanization come hota and all then next we have is the supply chain so in case of agriculture sector less supply chain is there supply chain is not related to the primary secondary tertiary international and all next is the safety security storage and standardization is there so safety security standardization is a problem and the fifth one is the fifth type of agriculture that we need is the sustainability these are the 20 dimensions of the agriculture sector now we have covered agriculture to ye to simple hai samajh mein aa gaya hoga the next topic we'll see that is the education so how to use this same challenges isme se 20 to challenges mein dal diya aur panch che way forward mein dal ke diagram bana diya theek hai because that's the, the the opposite of the challenge is the way forward that way forward is the futuristic whatever is the requirement is the next we have is for example is the education in case of the education policy schemes law and governance mechanism of the education so education comes in the concurrently center ka bhi jata hai state ka bhi jata hai which causes a problem so governance is a major problem in case of the education sector then second we have is the productivity or we can say the quality of the education we have so at present the focus is less on the learning outcomes input intensive again focus infrastructure develop karna and all so it is less focusing upon the learning outcomes we have then next we have is the production or we can say the backward forward linkages we have so backward linkages hoga student ka enrollment and forward linkages hoga ki how many students are actually getting the job or actually intellectual knowledge kitna increase ho raha because ultimately india wants to become the knowledge hub of the world so uske liye you need to increase the skill you need to increase the actual knowledge ab acr ke report kya diye ki 40 50% only knows the second class wala mathematics 8th class ka student aur 6th class ka student bhi hai similarly at the higher education level almost 80 85% of the engineers or 90% of the engineers employable nahi hai then next we have is the post harvest aadha isme dalo aadha post harvest mein dalo post harvest means post education we have so post education there is a gap between this survey was talking about there is a gap between the requirement of the industry and the require the, the engineers or the graduates you are give uh, uh, in, uh, in in case of the schooling or in case uh, in in case of the schooling or in case of the universities that we have so there is a huge gap between the requirement we have then we have the profitability so the present focus of universities as well as schools is basically on the profitability money driven hai wo total rather than the actual imparting the knowledge to the students next we have innovation and r and d so this we discuss consistent the 0.7% is uh, being invested on the r and d from last uh, 20 years next infrastructure so infrastructure again is a major problem in rural areas as well as in the urban areas we have then intermediaries is there unorganized education is there so quality is not available then we have incentivized nahi hai 
export in the sense international. So, India has not allowed international universities to come and set up their business in India. So, it decreases actually, it decreases actually the quality of education in India. Then the brand value nahi hai. So, earlier in the ancient time, we had very good schools, very good colleges and all. Ye takshila and all this, the sab chala gaya. Then we have the investment. So, private investment in education is less plus government's share. Wo ek discuss hi hoga, QEP mein discuss karenge, the hollowing of the public sector schools we have. So, in last uh, 10 years, uh, 1.15 lakhs I think. So, so 1.15 crores actually the enrollment of the students in public school has decreased. But the number of public sector schools has increased by 13,500. So, this is basically the investment problem is. Then we have the institutional finance is a problem and then we have the inputs. Three T's is there, so technology is a major problem. Raw chalta hai schools and all, technology, the pedagogy is not good, the projector and all waste wala nahi chalta hai isme. Then we have the training, training of teachers we have as well as the hands-on training of the students also is required. Wo tinkering lab jo Niti Aayog ne open kiya. So, then we have only 950 tinkering lab open hoga, usse hoga hi kya. Then we have the taxation, so all the schools they are getting some tax relaxation in uh, acquiring uh, the, the land we have as well as in the infrastructure maintenance and all, mein. but they are charging very high fees, so taxation ka misuse ho raha hai pe. Then we have the FIFAs that is the skill, so labor, manpower, we can say teachers training ka problem hai, as well as the regulator ka problem hai. Regulator ka honoga hai pe, UGC and all, Medical Council of India, sub key training mein problem hai. Then we have the scale and size is a major problem. Then we have the supply chain is a major problem. School se leke primary school, pre-nursery pre, pre school, primary school, uh, then we have the uh, secondary and the higher secondary. Abhi to merge kiya school level pe, but still the supply chain is a major problem. Then we have safety, security, sanitation is a major problem. Then we have standardization again is a major problem because kuch school ke board hai kuch. Uh, uh, union government ke boards hain, that is why national testing agency le gaya tha, which is still being opposed by some of the states. Then we have the sustainability of the education that we have. So this is becomes, we can say at least 20 may say 15 dimensions ho gaya education mein. Then next we have is the health. So jaysa education has same thing you can apply for the health sector. Then we have the infrastructure sector. Same infrastructure mein chalega. Policy schemes, law, governance ka issue in infrastructure ke case mein. Then we have the production of the quality ka issue infrastructure mein. Then we have backward forward linkages ka problem hai. National highway bana hoge, but rural roads nahi bana hoge. So connectivity nahi hoga, pura supply chain mein jayega. Then we have the post harvest profitability is a major problem. That is why private sector is not investing in the road sector. Port sector mein bhi nahi ho raha hai. That is why the model of the BOT toll, BOT NUT sub fail ho gaya. Hybrid model leke hai, which is also not very successful. Innovation is a major problem, infrastructure itself is a major problem, intermediaries ka problem, incentivize ka problem, sub ya total across all these 20 dimensions, 15 dimensions you can use for the infrastructure as well. Then we have for the banking sector, similarly you can use the same for any of the internal security ka question. Take the case of terrorism for example, ya next slide wala problem, ya North East ki problem, dekhte Internal security, so law and order is a state subject, so governance ka issue a jata, union government ko. Law and order maintain karna international ke case mein aur state government ko police ka karna hai. So, it creates a problem of the governance mechanism, policy kaise banega. Because union government has created law for internal security. Abhi recently Maharashtra ne banaya internal security ke lela. So, in case of the conflict, kaun aega, kab aega. So, coordination issues will be there. But Han court mein jaise da, very much visible. Within the union government, there are multiple of agencies we have. So, kab NIA aega, kab paramilitary forces aega, kab armies aega. It becomes a problem. Then we have the productivity or we can say the quality of the uh, in uh, this thing, uh, internal securities we have. So, NIA wale ki uh, quality hoga ya nahi hoga, police ki quality hoga ya nahi hoga. There was a demand of calling of army in case of the Nexalite issues because police ki capacity nahi thi, paramilitary forces ki capacity nahi thi. So, this becomes a question of the quality. Next challenge. Next we have is the backward forward linkages. So, in case of the backward forward linkages we have, earlier we have pre-crime intelligence is must. So, pre-crime intelligence ke baad forward linkage mein kya hai ga? court. So, conviction rate ki bahut problem hai. So, that is has created a problem of the lot of under trials in the, uh, this case. Ab uska problem terrorism se bhi hoga, usi se next slide ka bhi hoga and all. Next we have is the post harvest. So, once yaan pe quote wala dal sakte ho. Agar yaan pe intelligence dal and all, labs and all is a problem, forensics labs ka problem hai. To yaan pe quote wala problem hai, trial cases mein attack jada case. Then next we have is the profitability, chodenge isme. Next, R&D is a major problem in case of the internal security. Infrastructure is a major problem, latest technology nahi hai. Intermediaries is a major problem. Uh, in case of the Delhi, for example, we have. 
so what are the common citizens they are regarded as the uh, friends of the police but there is a trust deficit between the police and the uh, normal citizens we have so yeah, intermediary is problem over then we have incentivized so police persons they don't have any incentive that is why it is they have 15 16 hours a job so constabulary nature of the indian police that we have then we have brand value ki problem hai. the chief minister is calling the police persons as thulla i think so right motivation kahan se aega? then we have investment is a major problem then institutional finance is a major problem which may stop uh, when the 14 finance commission actually devolved 42 percent so modernization of police force union government has stopped kar diya tha. they resumed it later on but yeah they earlier they stopped the modernization of uh, police forces ka fund then we have inputs ka major problem hai. then we have the technology is a problem training is a problem taxation and time then we have a skill is a major problem of the police personals we have scale and size ka problem hai. because scale and size are constabulary driven hai. 85 86 percent is the constabulary and their requirement is 10th pass or 12th pass so wo shirt ke button khol ke police station mein baitega sikha hai na then we have the supply chain ka problem hai. safety security standardization ka problem hai. standardization ki problem ki cross border mein problem aata hai isme theek hai jo hot pursuit ka question aaya tha do teen saal pehle how to resolve these problems because administrative problems it causes why lot of nexalite nexalite problem is there on the dantewada wala area because it is touching three states so one one state second state and third state and then we have the sustainability we have so these 20 dimensions you can use in any topic ab isko yaad kar lo every second every third class mein i am going to ask